Her name was Latifa, and she danced in front of car windows at night. Danced until all her fears dried up. Danced until the dark voices went away. Danced until the sun came up. Her name was Latifa. In the car windows, the pain of her mama's disappointment for the son she never had and the daughter she didn't want dissipated in distorted images, blurred by eye paint and blush, twisted smiles and emulated emotions designed to bury a million hurts, the kind a 12-year-old was never supposed to know. Her name was Latifa. Somehow the system, reality, her mama, society, and somehow even God had let her down. Her cries for help echoing in emptiness, her pleas for mercy unanswered, drowned out beneath the heavy breathing and brutal penetrations of a man she trusted. Mama, deafened by her blinding rage against God for her son that was stolen away, so deafened she couldn't hear Latifa tell her, Mama, I didn't ask for this. Mama lied for her man, with a heart too afraid to believe what she knew to be true. Too afraid to cry for her daughter not wanted, or to mend Latifa's broken heart. For Latifa, even God didn't want this not-quite person born on a knife edge between love and hate. Somewhere between something but not quite anything. Latifa heard the words from the pulpit in the house of the Lord. She heard the preacher speak words like filthy and unclean, evil and abomination. So she knew there was no place for her at God's table. Her name was Latifa, and she danced in front of black tinted car windows while thick, sweaty, blubberous men looked on, each awaiting his turn to empty himself into her much too young body. On the stroll, the girls called these men trade. It's how they separate the money from the pain. Somehow, it's never enough. Never enough to heal the pain. Never enough to escape the hell. And never enough to bring Mama back. Never enough to give Latifa the courage to tell Mama, that man hurt me just like the other man did. Please, make them stop hurting me. Please, Mama, just love me. But Mama, like daughter, is a wounded little girl, hoping to find magic in a child of her own, not knowing to cure lies and learning to love her little Latifa. Pastel finger paints bring joy to young hearts as dreams flow from tiny fingers onto the canvas of the universe, filling the sky with butterflies and dandelions, sunshines with big smiles, and soft pillowy clouds that carry dreams and wishes on wings of wonder and bright gleaming young eyes. But for Latifa, innocence was stolen away. Pastels replaced by crimson painted fingers and black and smoky eyes. The colors of a scorned woman's passion. A portrait of a heart that has grown too dark too soon. Dancing in the night to find a God somewhere beyond the squalor and pain. Beyond broken wishes and shattered dreams, she is dancing to the music beyond the music anyone else hears. Dancing in the hallway between joy and pain, in the only place life and death cannot find her. Freedom is not free, and sometimes death seems a lesser price than the ransom of a little girl's soul. In the mirror of a distorted car window, she is dancing. And her name is Latifah.